As fast as you can, Lou in Wisconsin. Welcome. Okay, I've got a uh, friend on YouTube who posted uh, a video called One Question Every Intelligent uh, Atheist Must Answer. And he bypassed the evolution process altogether with straight to abiogenesis and used in a scientific theory that we have seen that life only uh, produces life. We've never observed in all of our years uh, life coming from non-living matter. So how do you get anywhere in the beginning of time uh, life coming from non-living matter? I think it's a great thought, and it's, uh, it really goes a long way in defeating the purpose of abiogenesis and evolution. Uh, exactly. I totally agree. We have all seen illusions. In this short video, I'd like to show you the best illusion in the world. First, for this illusion to work, I'm going to start by assuming that you are an atheist. I'm also going to assume that you are a smart person. You have an education, and you have what people call common sense. If you are a smart atheist like this, you have been looking at this illusion ever since you became an atheist, but you have never been able to see it. In the next few minutes, you will be able to see this illusion for the first time. So let's start at the beginning. Since you are an atheist, you believe there is no God, and any living eternal form is impossible in your belief. You probably agree with this statement from Atheist.net. I've never really believed in any gods, and the more I've learned about the world and religion, the more I've moved from strong doubts to outright disbelief. So today, I can say that I can come to no other rational conclusion than no gods exist. A quote from Atheist.net This is a very important belief for atheists. There is no God. There is no evidence for God. There is no possibility any gods exist. So let's say one day you use your critical thinking skills and put this belief to the test by questioning your origin. You realize that life comes from life 100% of the time. And you realize life comes from non-living matter 0% of the time. And you suddenly realize all your beliefs, based in abiogenesis, are based on non-living matter, which is incapable of producing life, is to be responsible for the existence of life. It doesn't make sense, does it? You go away disappointed, confused, maybe angry, and you do not understand what went wrong. If you talk to another atheist, or look on the web and ask, why do we believe life comes from non-living matter when non-living matter has never produced life? You will hear a response like one of these. 1. Because that is a false analogy. There is no difference between life and non-living matter. Two. Just because non-living matter has not produced life yet doesn't mean it never will. 3. This is a new study. Scientists have just discovered Rockolificus. It is a proven fact that non-living matter can produce life. And as you Google Rockolificus, you get your search, Rockolificus, did not match any documents. So you get an answer in these three types. One. You are looking at it the wrong way, at which they make a strange rationalization which is both bizarre and irrational to make a very irrational conclusion seem more irrational. 2. You got to have faith. Keep believing that some scientist somewhere will do it. Do not give up hope. Or 3. You get lied to. Well, whatever happens, I'm not going to stand for this. Too many people get away with injustice, like the folks you meet in those Louisiana swamps. Excuse me, do you know how to get to town? Yeah, it's back the way you came. This is how atheists rationalize this question. I have seen this on the posts on my videos, and you've probably heard this thousands of times, and you believe it completely. But this is an illusion. Let me show you how this illusion works. Imagine if I said, my dog can fly. Now no one has ever observed my dog fly, but there are millions and millions of people who believe my dog could fly anyways. And you asked, why do you believe your dog can fly when no one has ever seen your dog fly before? Now here are the three scenarios. One, because that is a false analogy. There is no difference between flying and not flying. 
too. Just because my dog has not flown yet doesn't mean he never will. 3. This is a new study. Scientists have just discovered doggone. It is a proven fact that dogs can fly. And as you google doggone you get your search doggone did not match any documents. Now let me ask you, would you believe my dog could fly? Probably not. But why not? You will not believe that a dog will fly because you know it's not capable of flying. No matter what evidence will be brought before you, and what comparisons was made to dogs and to flying animals, no matter how many common flying building blocks my dog may have, you will not believe my dog will fly, because it is crazy. You know that no dog has ever been observed to fly. You know all the excuses made for my dog to fly are completely irrational. They are bizarre rationalizations made to justify an illogical conclusion. If you are a smart person, you may be starting to see the illusion of believing life comes from non-living matter. Hey, Charlie! Hey, Charlie, wake up! Yeah, Charlie, you silly sleepy head, wake up! Atheists say, because this is a false analogy, there is no difference between life and non-living matter. I say, because that is a false analogy, there is no difference between flying and not flying. Atheists say, just because non-living matter has not produced life yet, does it mean it never will. I say, just because my dog has not flown yet, doesn't mean he never will. When atheists say that life started from non-living matter, it is a crazy rationalization based on no evidence, but based on a biased approach to science, a presupposition that it is impossible for an eternal life form to have started life. Thanks but no thanks on that bridge to nowhere. Since you are a smart person, you should be seeing this now. If we say non-living matter started life, knowing non-living matter started life 0% of the time, then the same rationalizations to prove that non-living matter can create life can also prove that my dog can fly. That is the illusion. You are a smart person. You cannot deny reality. Use your intelligence to understand this simple truth. To believe life comes from non-living matter is totally illogical. Life simply comes from life. Let the worshippers 